Hey guys, my name is Bando. This is Breakfast of Bando. Oh, would you look at that? We're doing another video and it's on Legions Imperialis. Oh, wow. But Bando, I thought you didn't care for Legions Imperialis. Spoilers, I don't. Um, but I wanted to talk about this. So here is the contents of the Legion Imperialis starter set. This picture is not the same picture that was in this article to begin with. Because originally they started posting a picture which had an additional set of Kratos tanks in it. And they've had to admit that they've bollocksed it up and they've ended up sending out a load of promotional material with the wrong contents of the box. Brilliant. We also now have a price for this box set, which is £120. So £96 with a 20% discount, um, which is, if you can still find one, a, a good third-party retailer, like um, games, you know, smooth, subtle, nice. Um, <clears throat> or you can go to Dark Sphere or Wayland Games, Hobby Workshop, The Outpost, just so they don't feel left out. And, yeah, so this is £120. £120. Look at, look, just look at what you're getting, the, the, the amount of plastic. If we boiled this all down, you have a, the a, an amount of plastic that wouldn't even make a tactical squad. And they're charging you £120 for it. Good handful of dice, some decals, yay templates, the whippy sticks. The whippy sticks are the best. And a book and some tokens. Great, okay. But we also have the box sets. So this is how Epic always used to do it. They did it in like detachments. You didn't just buy a, a tactical squad. You got it in like a platoon of infantry. And these are £30. Yeah. And you're going to need lots of these. And these. And these. And these. And all of these. And the price is ridiculous. The Kratos are £30. The Astartes Infantry, £30. The Rhinos, £30. Baneblades, £30. And then the Titans, which are all over the place. Brilliant. Oh wow, that is £100. Oh, this just feels like it's going to be dead on arrival, because if you look at the let me just quickly go grab you a picture of one. Let me show you the size of a 3,000 point army. Here we go. Open in browser. This is a 3,000 point army. There's a hundred pounds worth of drop pods there on their own. Yeah. If 3,000 points is, is what they're expecting this to be a normal game, which doesn't surprise me. The price you're going to be paying is going to be similar to that of a full-scale 30k army. This is insane. This is... I, 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 I can't see this succeeding. Like, I really can't. Like, the price is insane. <laughs> I just... I don't know what they're doing. But, um... I mean, that's, that's a lovely model. Don't get me wrong. That, that's, that's... You know, that is beautiful. Titans aren't a released army. They can only be taken as... As a, uh... As, like, a Lord of War allied detachment. Which is limited to 30% of your army. Which means... At most, you're going to see a single Reaver. This is nuts. Ay ay ay. On the flip side, I can see an awful lot of Solar Exilia being on eBay cheap. Um... I like the numbers. Like, rhinos being in a box of 10 is good. 
which means, you know, what have we got? We've got uh, oh, it's Terminator, so one. So that's one squad, two squads, three squads, four squads, five, five six. Say seven squads, so yeah, one of these and one of those, you get enough rhinos for everything, basically. That's fine, I'm okay with that. But, um, yeah, this price is wild. I, um, I'd love to be hyped for this. I really, really would love to be hyped for this. Um, but I, I, I just don't think this is going to be accessible to people. I think people are going to buy in. I think they're going to buy this box set and then they're going to realise just how expensive it is for this hobby. For this game in particular and they're just going to fizzle out and it's going to go the way of so many specialist games and it's going to disappear I mean, the good news is that this is a regular item it's not a splash release but you've got to remember as well this is games workshop we're talking about right so these are 30 pounds how long is it going to take before they're 32 pound 50 or 35 pounds it won't take long, I guarantee it. Remember, you know, it was basically... I don't know, what, less than six months between the launch of 2nd Edition Heresy and its first price increase. Where characters went from £19 to, like, £23. It'll happen for this. It's got to happen for this. They're, they're playing catch-up. Remember, you know, this this was supposed to be out months ago. And obviously, look at this. Look at this high-quality wargaming tutorials we're getting. Your high-quality miniatures that you're spending £30 on. Your painting tutorial is spray them, blob on green, and wash them brown. Oh, this is bad. <laughs> they're tiny, but they're packed with detail. Where? Where is the detail? <laughs> yeah, I'm... Uh, I'm not convinced this is going to do well at all. I'm really not. Oh, dear. And then we have this thing, which is ridiculous. It's disgusting. Um, I, I understand what they're going for, I just think it looks a bit ridiculous. Like an old judge type, type vampire with a big wig. And a horribly old, you know, face with the rough and stuff. Yeah, I'm okay with that. But this is just too much. This is this isn't this isn't grim dark. This is grim derp. Um, I do like the hands though. I see a lot of people stealing those for Night Lord conversions. But uh, yeah, this is just too far. Oh well. So that's today's video, guys. I wish I had something a bit more interesting. Um, but sadly not, you know, this is this is what we get. I probably should have worked out exactly how much this would cost, but looking at it, it's going to be 30, 60, 90, 120, uh, 300 pounds-ish. Yeah, that's going to suck. That's really going to suck. Because I know I'd much rather spend 300 quid on full-sized heresy. Um, ah, well. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. Um, thank you for the guys who stuck with me over the weekend watching live streams. Um, for everyone who's commented, I always love those. I do try to get back to everyone's comments if you've got something, you know, if you've asked a question or, you know, if you're just not being a dick. <laughs> Um, there should be more videos up this week hopefully we also have the uh, preview at the end of the week 
Um, so, yep. Just a warning, there won't be a live stream... Not this weekend, but the the next weekend I won't be live streaming because again I'm I'm going back up north to see my uncle, um, who's not well. So yeah, I may do one of those on Monday instead. That'll be the twenty seventh or twenty eighth. Let me know what you think. Have these prices enticed you? Have they dampened your spirits for Li? Do you you know? think it's worth this money? Am I talking out of my backside? Do you feel that that money is 100% justified for what you're getting? Maybe I'm wrong. If I am, tell me. As always, you can use my Element Games code for when this comes out. Um, you'll be able to get yourself double reward points. If you're buying a big splash release, you'll be able to use that there. Unfortunately, they've said that they won't be getting the Christmas box sets in to be ordered because the numbers are so few. Um, and also, don't forget to check out places like Dark Sphere and Wailing Games, because a lot of those sites have really good Black Friday deals. Uh, last year, I managed to get myself a copy of Age of Darkness for £113. So, check them out. I think Dark Sphere's got Derridio Dreadnoughts at like £35 at the moment, which is pretty good. Um, so thanks very much for watching guys, please pop a comment, subscribe if you'd like to, I don't mind, um, comment, I'd much rather you commented because it just gives me something to interact with, um, like, dislike, don't care, you know, it's up to you guys, um, I don't want to be a YouTuber that tells you to do things, so have a great day, that I am telling you today, um, thank you very much for watching, my name is Bando, this is Brexit Bando, bye bye.